Mansfield lying. When tragedy strikes, its effect is all the more disconcerting. Jane Mansfield arrived in Hollywood in the mid 50s. Having appeared in a number of army camp shows, she loved the attention received, the wolf whistles and cat calls. Mansfield wanted to become the next Marilyn Monroe. She realized that the biggest chance of breaking into film was by exploiting her ample figure. She embarked on a campaign of posing for sexy pinup photos and engaged in wild publicity stunts. A film career did become an eventuality, but her films were, for the most part, sophomoric sex comedies or exploitation dramas. She posed naked to promote one film called Promises, Promises, then later sued the magazine for publishing the photos. Of course, the lawsuit drew even more attention to her. Mansfield married a perfect compliment to herself, Hungarian bodybuilder and one-time Mr. Universe, Mickey Hargate. The couple lived in a tacky pink mansion with a heart-shaped swimming pool, bath, and bed. The overall decor was a reflection of Mansfield's exploitive nightclub act, poor taste. It was while on tour with the act when Mansfield's newest boyfriend, attorney Sam Brody, who abandoned his legal career to pursue her, died with her when their car crashed into the rear of a stalled truck. He and Mansfield were decapitated. Reporters who received word of the sex symbol's death quickly descended on the accident scene, where a great many photographed Mansfield's decapitated head. A portion of her hair and scalp dislodged in the accident and lay oozing brain matter on the ground next to the body of her pet dog in this startling photo. Hargate, whom she had recently divorced, claimed to be devastated by the news of Mansfield's death. Just the same, he was quick to accept a fee to appear in a quick exploitation documentary on Mansfield. Here he is seen in one of the several takes of him demonstrating his sense of grief and loss. Like Mansfield's acting career, the documentary was more bomb than bombshell. Naked Hollywood, 